Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cassie. Today's video is going to be another foundation first impression slash review. I did purchase the powder foundation from Fit Cover and I'm super excited to try it out for you guys. So if you want to hear all my thoughts and opinions, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. <music> heard about this foundation on some reviews here on YouTube the number one claim that really stuck out to me was that it is made for sweat and is the perfect foundation for the gym honestly I don't wear makeup to the gym but the whole sweat thing really got me because I do live in Florida it is super hot out here I mean you will sweat within minutes of stepping outside of your house so I was really interested in trying it out because I know that typically with foundations that I wear, they don't seem to last as long, especially throughout the summer because it is so hot and humid. So hopefully this works out. It is about 4.30, but I plan on wearing this until about 8.30, 9 o'clock so I can do like a mini wear test. If I do like the foundation and you are interested in seeing like a full day wear test, maybe I can even wear it to the gym one time, let me know, leave me a like or a comment and I could definitely do that for you guys. So before we go ahead and jump right on into this video, I'm going to read a few claims off of the website just so you guys can get some background information. Why am I doing so much with my hands? A few of the claims are that it is made for sweat, it will not clog your pores, it is buildable so you can build it from a sheer to a full coverage, cruelty free, vegan friendly, natural ingredients, Australian owned and made. I do want to mention that you do have to purchase it off their website. You can't purchase it at Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. It is free of talc, parabens, and nasties. It is anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, antibacterial, water resistant, SPF 15, hydrating benefits, hypoallergenic, transfer resistant, no artificial preservatives, promotes cell regeneration and oxygenation, and it reflects light to give skin a natural radiant glow. The list could go on forever, but we'll stop there. That's super cute. The foundation does come in nine shades and the names are really awesome. I'm gonna read them to you guys from lightest to darkest. The lightest shade is called Power, then lift, naked, embrace, activate, toned, nourish, inspired, and strength. So I really like that they're like strong names. They're not like typical like foundation shade names like nutmeg, vanilla, cappuccino, or like NC44. Like I like that they're, you know, like verbs. I think that's really cool. The pricing of this foundation is a little bit expensive. It does retail for 45 US dollars. I think that there might be something like with your first purchase that you may be able to get like 10 or 15% off if I'm not mistaken. Um, the shipping is super quick. I did get it to my house within three to four days and I did not pay extra for shipping, just so you guys know. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and apply some primer and then we'll go ahead and so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer and then we'll go in with the foundation. So I just applied my primer and I wanted to mention something to you guys really quick. When you do get your order, if you decide to purchase this foundation, not only do you get the one that you picked out, they also send you three sample powder foundations as well. I got the shade darker, the shade lighter, and then I believe they sent me a sample of the shade that I picked out for myself. The shade that I'm going to be wearing is Inspired, and I'm going to read the description for you guys just so you can use me as a shade reference if you need help, because I sure do need a lot of help when I am shade matching myself online because it is a struggle. So the shade that I have is Inspired, and it is described as having warm yellow undertones for tan to deep skin tones. The shade Darker that I got a sample shade in is Muted Chocolate Undertones for Deep to Dark Skin Tones. And then I also got Nourish, which is a shade lighter than the one that I picked out, which has yellow warm undertones for tan skin. When you open the foundation, it does have a cover, which I think is really awesome. So that way, as soon as you open it, powder doesn't fly out everywhere, especially for it being $45. I ain't trying to waste no product, okay? So I went ahead and zoomed you guys in so you could see how we're looking like so far. This is the side with foundation and this is the side without. I do have hyperpigmentation on both sides of my face as well as some breakouts, but right off the bat I think that the foundation did a really good job at evening out my skin tone and giving it a nice natural finish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply foundation to this side and we'll see what it looks like when the whole face is done. So I just finished applying foundation to the rest of my face and this was the side of my face that did not have anything that I just showed you guys and here's what it looks like after I've applied the powder foundation. 
I think it looks really nice overall I do have a very natural glowy radiant looking finish the only thing that I can say that I don't like right off the bat is that I stepped in front of the window for a second and I noticed a few specks of like sparkly things it wasn't like glitter but I don't know I do really like the coverage and if you're somebody who wants to wear makeup to the gym or to work but you don't want to put on like a full face of foundation concealer maybe you work long hours you know whatever this might be a foundation that you would like to try out I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off of camera I'm just gonna fill in my brows apply a little bit of blush maybe a little bit of bronzer nothing crazy I'm gonna keep it really simple and light and then I'll be back to give you guys my first impression thoughts I'm back I did add a little bit of bronzer some blush I combed through my brows using the ABH dip brow gel and then I put on a little bit of highlight I kept it really simple just because I wanted to stick with the natural look so far I really like how this foundation makes my skin look it is very radiant I know I've said that a lot so far but that's really like the best word that I can use to describe it I think the shade is a good match for me like I did say earlier it is a bit more neutral rather than warm so just keep that in mind if you're wanting to pick up this foundation I do plan on wearing this for the rest of the day it is still very much daylight outside so I'm going to walk the dog chill make dinner and all that so I will check in with you guys a little later and give you guys my final thoughts but so far, I really like this foundation. I could see myself wearing it to work. I might even wear it to the gym. Like I said, if you guys wanna see that video and see how it wears throughout a gym workout, leave me a comment or give this video a thumbs up and I will definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, so far, I really, really like it. I don't think that there's anything else I need to mention. I will check in in about an hour just to update you guys on how it's wearing. So yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, so I'm checking in. It is. 8 20 i was finished applying my foundation at about like 5 30 that's when i last saw you guys so it's been three hours and so far i have like a healthy amount of glow a little bit more than i did three hours ago um so yeah this is what it's looking like so far i really do like this foundation i think it's really pretty it looks very natural on your skin but it still gives you a little bit of coverage i didn't build it up to a full coverage you know powder foundation like it says it could just because I feel like layering powder can kind of make you look cakey and I didn't want that since I was only able to update you guys after three hours I'm definitely going to be trying this out at the gym and seeing how it holds up through a workout if you guys are interested in picking up this foundation I will leave a link to it down in the description box below so make sure you check it out and I'm definitely going to continue to try it out to see how I like it I'm gonna play around with it and yeah, but so far, I think it's really, really pretty. I love the way my skin looks right now. She looks bomb. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you have not already, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!